All right, minute 17, my golden minute. I'm Brian. I'm Richard. And this is I Love You 3000 podcast, the podcast where we took that soul stone right out of the Sanctum Centaurum. And it's called the soul stone inside the I have Agamotto, right? I don't know. We haven't gotten to that minute yet. We traveled back in time to rewatch these movies one glorious minute at a time from Iron Man 1 to Spider-Man Far From Home. Let's get into minute 17. First off, before you start recapping it, I just want to take another shot at Verizon. We saw that it's an LG Verizon branded phone. Um, no way Verizon would give service in this area. And if they did, it would be expensive. Especially for 2008. Spence is expensive. I would not be surprised if he was paying $100 a minute. Tony Stark could probably afford it. I know he could afford it. <laughs> They're just ripping him off. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but Richard, what happened in this 17th minute of Iron Man Uno? Well, uh, Colonel Rhodes makes sure to congratulate him and thank him because it was a good presentation. And Stark is just like, yeah, well, you're not riding with me right now. <laughs> And, uh... After he finished up his conversation with Obi? Where yes, he said, that's uh, true. I forgot about that. I couldn't go to sleep till I figured out how it went. Which, maybe he called early, mm -hmm. and he wanted to see if he wouldn't pick up to be like, Mwahaha. I mean, I don't know why I'm psychically getting these ideas, mm -hmm. but he might have wanted to know through a missed call that he had been ambushed. Also, it's just a business thing. It's like those CEOs care so much about how their business is going. That's a CEO move. Yeah, how'd it go? I stayed up to make sure it went well, blah, 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 and be on hand in case there were any questions or communications needed or whatever. And... So now thinking back to that first sequence when he whipped out that phone, do you think he's texting Obi or Rhodes we don't or know who, who else it would be. It would either be his own personal automation, like, hey, I'm texting right now, and this is crazy shit happening, and something's supposed to happen. Like, some setup. Well, at setup this point, or he machine. doesn't have any Iron Man stuff. He doesn't have right, a cut right. and launch out. Right. He might, he's still security-minded. He owns a arms... He's, you know... he, he like, might come get me. He might have something like that. Yeah. Or just uh, a personal security kind. Could be happy. Could be happy that he's texting, right? Uh, or Obi. So, yeah, like ambush. Yeah, L ambush. Am please help. LOL. I'm in mortal danger. <laughs> I'm in mortal danger. Lol. <laughs> TLDR. FML. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> but then we get a little bit of the ACD song, ACDC song, which you said was played out. Which get him. His name's Sniper Agent Zero Zero Nine with no. Cons, uh, vowels and sniper if you want to harass him about it uh, and then yeah we get that explosion goes into a dreamy sequence with a bunch of people operating on him some medical equipment and the only perfect casting choice for the last airbender before M. Night Shyamalan fucked up that whole movie but yeah we get a, a lot of that we see the arc reactor kind of thing or whatever in his chest being lowered down it also seems like someone chloroformed him yep that's what it looks like to help probably with the pain and he wakes up with on a cot with a straight pillow and something in his ear and he goes reaching uh, anything something else in missed? his nose yeah this is i don't know body parts <laughs> all right i'm gonna touch my ear so. or i'm gonna touch my nose right now For video, I just touched my ear and Richard looked at me. <laughs> um, so. Anything else I missed before, besides your intense disappointment in our friendship? <laughs> oh, yeah, humdrum V. Yeah, it is true. I think the one um V that we didn't see ex blow up in that earlier scene was the last one, so. Mm -hmm. He may have saved Rove's life. Yeah. No, he definitely did. It's true how that turned out. So, uh, if you fast forward a little bit more, he has something in his nose to assist for his breathing while he's lying down, right? And he took some trap to his torso, so obviously he probably has some breathing issues. 
Oh, yeah, and, because of that, all that blood that we saw early on, mm-hmm. like minute three or four or something. And he has a brand new hole in his chest for that arc, for whatever uh, side or makeshift arc reactor they made, or magnetic. I think it was just a magnetic thing to keep the shrapnel from going inward. Yeah, through so. all the lights and the fuzzy moments, we see kind of a little extra hole right, right in the middle. where the, It looks beneath his sternum. So yeah, it's kind of yeah. like where the ribs meet the the sternum. Is that center sternum? thing is called the sternum. This yes, is, okay. yes. <laughs> the chest plate. <laughs> the hard part that makes that I feel past my boobies. It's the sternum. That's a pretty <laughs> agonizing face Tony has right there. The, yeah, that's Jesus some Christ. good good acting there. Good movie so far. Mm-hmm. So far. It's all about to go downhill. It's a good see franchise a, so far. We see what looks like a makeup sponge in, oh, I in tweezers, yeah, uh, okay. either applying the blood makeup or wiping it away. I thought it was something getting pulled out of the torso. I mean, it looks like a it, sponge. It does look like a sponge. Me, right? Yeah, it does look like a sponge. You're right. But just when I first saw the scene, it looked like something being pulled out, I thought. Gotcha. They pulled out his heart. Uh huh. <laughs> That's Richard just not being entertained by my shenanigans. Mm hmm. <laughs> Anything else for minute 17, Mr. Richard? It looks like a scene from Saw. <laughs> Some quick cuts of, of Saw, this including look, the chloroform. This does look like a scene I saw. All right. We're, <laughs> we're going to move on to the next minute now. Um. I'm Richard. I'm Brian. You've got an army. We've got a podcast. <laughs> He's going to break up with me as a friend soon. 